I'm Akshita and you are watching Akshita's Recipes. The theme of my channel is to keep it simple, quick, yet delicious. So like all my other recipes, today's recipe too is going to be very simple to make, few ingredients and the end result is going to be really delicious where you're going to want to make it again and again. So let's get started. So friends, let's see today's two ways of making masala papad. So first I'm going to take half a tomato and I'm going to chop it really fine. Now this is enough for making two masala papad. So I'm going to just show you two, but uh, you can double the quantity or uh, triple the quantity depending on how many masala papads you want to make. This is a very light and refreshing quick snack. So I'm going to chop the tomato really fine and I'm also going to chop about one small onion. So I'm just showing you how to chop half but I've taken one uh, small onion. This is half of that. So chop that fine too. And once you chop the onion, again I'm going to mince it really really fine using a larger knife. I'll show you how. Because we want the onion to be really fine. So just go over it with a rather sharper larger knife alternatively you can also use a chopper uh, you know the I'll show you that one at the end of the video I just bought myself one which is very reasonable and it makes work so much easier I'm just showing this to you because if you don't have that chopper then you can use it this way but watch the video till the end for the lovely chopper uh, idea and now I'm also going to take about two tablespoons of fresh coriander that I've washed really well and dried really well and we're going to chop this also really really fine so we need to chop up all these veggies and keep them ready so you can use any papad for this recipe you can use uh, whatever papad you have at home whatever favorite papad that you have there's no particular uh, you know papad that you really need you can use anything now I'm just going to make a mixture so I've taken one teaspoon of chaat masala half a teaspoon of red chili powder and some salt to taste and this is exactly for two papads so you can uh, adjust the quantity as per your liking now mix this mixture really well because we're going to sprinkle this on top of the masala papad once we're ready with it now you can all now I'm going to just roast the papad on an open flame and uh, you can also add, you know, uh, whatever spices you like to this mixture. You can add some amchur powder. You can even add some chopped up very light green chilies if you want it to be a little more spicy. So now my papad is nice and roasted. I'm going to take it out in a plate. And now all we have to do is just add a generous amount of this chopped up veggies of onions, tomatoes and coriander. Now since we are in the summer and we have the kairi, you can also add some chopped up kairi or raw mango, even that will elevate the taste. You can also squeeze some lemon. So the choices are, you know, numerous. You can, uh, you know, really play with it and make it according to your liking. So this is a very nice light starter or a light snack. If you're hungry and you do want to have something really heavy, then you can have this masala papad. And I always prefer it to be roasted rather than deep fried. But I'm going to show you both the recipes. And now I'm just going to sprinkle this masala powder that we prepared. So like I said, you can add whatever you want to it. You can add a little bit of amchur and your roasted masala papad is all ready. And now let's go for the fried one. Now I don't want to deep fry it, so I'm just going to add a little oil. But if you want, you can deep fry it too. Now this is a different type of papad I'm using. It's called kichia papad. But you can use the normal udit papad. You can use any papad that you like. And now you're going to do the same thing with this papad. You're going to add all the veggies and sprinkle the powders. And your two papads are all ready. So do try out this recipe guys. And uh, watch the video till the end for the lovely chopper idea to make your work easier.
enjoyed watching today's recipe. I hope you're going to give today's recipe a try. Share my recipes with family and friends. Go and visit my channel. I have more than 500 recipes as of today. So go try them out. Share them with family and friends. And let me know also in the comment section below how you like the recipe. Also, don't forget to give this recipe a big thumbs up by clicking the thumbs up icon that you see below this video. If you haven't joined Akshita's recipes yet, click the subscribe button that you see below this video and become a part of Akshita's recipes. And once you have subscribed, there's a little bell icon that will pop up. Just click it. That way, whenever I put up a new video, a recipe, vlog, or I'm just online uh, waiting to chat with you, you'll get a message for the same. So friends, thank you so much for watching today's video and I will catch you in my next video sooner than you think. This is Akshita saying bye. Take care, stay healthy, stay fit, be loving and kind to one another. So till I see you in my next video, bye.